Hello, and it is now day 19 of uh, the Electronic Sound Advent Calendar Build Your Own Synthesizer Kit. And yes, I know today's is going out a bit late. Well, okay, let's get into it. So, what do we have under door 19? We have... It's another capacitor, and it's 104, so it's the same as the other two ceramic capacitors. Okay, what are we going to do with it? Let's have a look. So, first thing I'm going to check, just because it caught me out yesterday, is do we need any further jumpers? Well, this mode hasn't changed. Uh, this hasn't... Oh, this has changed. Look, we're putting a capacitor over here. Okay, and we can go and check how these tones sound. Um, that's weird. Look, it looks like it's sharing a pin there guess the legs are small enough we might get away with that but I don't see why we want to given that we've actually got spare pins there but okay the rest of the component looks the same except I've switched out that jumper so I made a mod yesterday so you remember how I found that my mod here was resetting this to a square wave well the mod I've made there's the jumper I've just stored is to put a button here which instead of powering the whole circuit, so putting this in powers the circuit, this actually powers the volume, the positive side of the volume, so it controls the volume. Now, if I switch to square, does it sound different? Let's take this away. And then we'll put it in again. Oh, actually, if you hear, the sound is there faintly. It's not completely off. Oh, if I turn that up, <laughs> you can hear it. It's just changing the volume of it. Oh, well. But... It kind of changes it. What about when I'm... It doesn't change the uh, the sine wave, only the square wave. Okay. Now there's a horrid sound there that I think is this box vibrating on the table, so. <laughs> so, as we've seen in some of the previous experiments, the sound change. Ooh. Oh, one of these is slightly dodgy. There we go. Yeah, the sound changes very mildly. I mean, you can hear the difference between that and that. So it takes the edge off of that square wave, but it's not. It's a subtle change, isn't it? There we go. It's not that exciting yet, I've got to be honest. Um, is it worth getting the oscilloscope to check? Let's have a go. Okay, so let's try capturing this. Okay, and that's... Ooh. So that is with the capacitor doing what's apparently the square wave. That's with the capacitor doing... Keep meaning to do the horizontal, not the vertical. So there's our sine wave, okay. Square wave, if I take away the capacitor and do square wave, So that's without the capacitor. And that's with. The edge is taken off of the square wave slightly. Okay. So if I switch to the sine wave. With the capacitor. Without the capacitor, I 
can't see the difference. Um, for the sine wave, for the square wave, it's very, very subtle. Oh. I don't know. There is a difference for the square wave. There really is, but it's just making it more signy, unless I'm missing something over here. Again, this is slightly more rounded, but it's still a square wave. No, well, kind of, it's, yeah. Not sure about this one. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this. We've had a quick look at today's circuit. We've tried to analyze with an oscilloscope and it's not made, it's made the slightest of smoothings here, but it's not a grand difference. Maybe day 20 will show something more interesting. Anyway, hope you've enjoyed this. Uh, go make stuff and it'll be awesome. Bye! So after two days of needing uh, the jumper wires and making new jumper wires, I had the jumper wire kit ready so I didn't have to pause and go get the jumper wire kit. <laughs> didn't need it today. Dope!